We know Lazy's got some dirty bars. He even poured himself a pipe like, hi, I'm really working class. So <laughs> then, he'll be like, yeah. You, oh, you went to Oxford too, same like me. We're all very impressed. Oxford, you? Would never have guessed. <laughs> That's an incredible sweat, really fetching. Impeccable dress. Before anything said, he goes from zero to the 0.7%. <laughs> Oxford students. Oxford students, I don't think he can relate. There's limits to my patience before there's haymakers swinging in his face. See, there's the difference. Your haymakers live on your estate. <laughs> That's only speculation. You're the tenth known generation that owes me reparations. <laughs> you don't want it with me. You don't want to compete. Let's see how posh I will be when you get bucks in your teeth. Hey, hey, hey. Every bar we rap is like it's off a Tory conference speech. <laughs> Yo, fucking manifesto, you're a manifest hole. <laughs> I'm a mammoth, you're a maggot. Is this man a threat? No. <laughs> Take life, I'm ten times you. You are never a rival, just some kind of giant pole with a menstrual cycle. <laughs> What's a pen knife to the end of a rifle? You're entitled, I end titles. <laughs> Whatever you do next, lazy, just make it suspenseful. Face like a pencil, frame like baking utensils. <laughs> what, do, you, do you people need me to clown on this twat? Everyone look down. God's already gotten around to that. <laughs> My fists are twice the width of your neck. What are you gonna do? Twig me to death. <laughs> if I talk to your soul, your torso will fold. Your limbs are far from proportional though. Looking like he's drawn in a rush by a four-year-old. <laughs> When he's in need of braces, <laughs> looking like the BFG remix as an Etonian teenager. <laughs> Behind that long hair, those ears are massive. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Camera see it from the back is like a freakish rabbit. Strand him on the Hebridean barons, he can hear the traffic. <laughs> he uses echolocation to see in blackness. <laughs> and you start fleeing backwards. Yo, who the f*** are you talking to? You look like an assortment of brooms. <laughs> I call Mickey Mouse and the Sorcerer and have you mop all of the room. I'll make a Fantasia. If this tree barking, I'm a landscaper. If that rap's Panani, you're sandpaper. <laughs> so, I slide up. I fly kick him in the tooth. Feels like I'm battling a literary review. <laughs> this guy's a beg. None of his fancy bars and lines make any kind of sense. His rapping lacks conviction. It's like a first time offense. So. <laughs> the star he uses is uni lecturer, patronizing. Now he's face to face with violence. Generic bar after generic bar can't make me frightened. Because that's just lazy writing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Prepping for this guy. It's so easy, it's great, because Mr. Big Shot over here has got his own Wikipedia page, and if you read it, it says he's got a MOBO award for jazz, but all in all, being the best modern day jazz artist is a bit like being the tallest dwarf, the, <laughs> the skinniest fat dude, the most tolerant hate crime, <laughs> The friendliest bus driver. The most reliable train line. The most accurate rumour. Which you heard on the grapevine. Big fish in a small pond and now he's convinced that he's a great white. This lady Big fish in a small pond and now he's convinced that he's a great white. white. This lame guy is deluded. This lame guy is deluded. That mobo in jazz doesn't mean that you're quite distinguished. It's a bit like having a... Nobel Prize for knitting. This guy's a, <laughs> this guy's a dickhead. So I couldn't give a f 
about your accolades in modern era jazz. I refuse to believe that that competition was very stacked. That you couldn't drown a mouse in that talent pool. I think you know it's getting mad when the other nominees were just the members of your band. Yes! Oh! You, made a, you made an 87 track esoteric jazz album inspired. You made an 87 track esoteric jazz album based on Dante's Inferno. That, that's true. <laughs> 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 Face it, it's evident. You make music for people like you. Insecure <laughs> who claim they're intelligent. <laughs> He's managed to achieve so much, yet remain so irrelevant. Oh. You, that's why you've managed to achieve so much, yet remain so irrelevant. Are you getting it? Whoever locked this fixture must have made a must have made a deliberate mistake, like spot the difference, because you are not distinguished, and I'm at an all-time high, like the cost of living. So do the math. What? I'm at an all-time high, like the cost of living. So do the math. It's elementary. You're not my competition. This bitch getting dismembered, oh. and they'll have to carry what remains. Like long divisions. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, so call me Lanky. I know. <laughs> That's why I wrote it, dickhead. So call me Lanky, but pray for God's forgiveness, because the only thing longer than my arms and legs are your odds of winning. Stop and listen. Stop and listen. He'll probably mention the fact that I'm like six foot seven, I guess, because he's used to being the tall guy in battles. Well, that's some shit which I could never respect. <laughs> Next to me, you're a midget. So, <laughs> so please do not get all aggressive and vexed. Yeah, well, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, shit! So please don't get all aggressive and vexed. Because if you try and get in my face, you'll just end up addressing my chest. Yeah! Let's go! That round, well, I don't like Jack. I want one minute, 23 seconds of my life back. Stop acting hyper, dial it back. It's like I'm being lectured to by a wire rack. I'm done with discussions. So cool, patronizing. Get extra aggressive with your flow. An empty condom with a nose and a condescending <laughs> I will slap you, drag your face against the balustrades. He thinks this matchup's great. Till I'm wigging every sentence. He's at the magistrates. Gulliver's a gimmick. Got lyrics for a swift solution. One swing, I'll slap his head into his shoes. Left him looking Lilliputian. His daddy pays for stuff. <laughs> he gave him a film career lane to run with. He's the literal depiction of failing upwards. <laughs> By night, he's a battle rapper, running free. By day, it's that one Jack, where's a cup of tea? Yeah. As soon as you go, yeah, I cut your scene. Tall, wooden, just a common tree. <laughs> I'll call your film production company, faxing my info. Turn up on set. Slap you with a gimbal. Wait. <laughs> Slashing cans and sticks, let's hope Jack can be nimble. Easy. Bitch, relax. You won't make it in film, simple facts. If I shoot Disney, you'll see the bars mirror max. Ooh. This ain't a writer striker. Strike writers rewire brains. This Tyson pen writes Ooh. insane. Ooh. You might be the same size as a crane. I'm like Logan Roy, <laughs> flying on a higher plane. I mean, I'm a prying pain. Watching Baltimore from a string of bullets. It's a different kind of wireframe. If the crowd still struggles to catch what is said, re-watch me at home, box off his head. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Round <laughs> two, ladies. No, okay, okay. There's a whole lot more. Okay? Yo! Yeah, come on, guys. Does your day job not teach you to have any sense? Just shut your mouth and roll when the talent's on set. Your bomb package is a cabbage, you don't carry a threat. You ain't a rapper, you're a seven-foot marionette. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, I'm pitching this new film. It's called Bitch Sit Down. The script reads, give me all of your sh now. Yeah. It's my production. It's my production. Can't keep it in-house. I'm like hijack. 
Yep, so hijack. Lovely yeah. apartment, you've got my flat. <laughs> so you lanky family, none of the wisecracks, all of you lie flat. <laughs> Shut your faces, don't play with me, just pay quickly. I put my feet up and leave. This ain't Mizzy. I call him a tata. I'm going to the bedroom with your mama. So stay here, do some quadruple on Tundras. In fact, I said, uh, I call him a tata. I'm going to the bedroom with your mama. Stay here and do some quadruple on Tundras. In fact, right, this should be in the pantomime. I pull up at the traffic lights, Jack is right, and call his dad back like, Lazy lacks the drive. This is lanky guy infanticide. I was murking novices before it was too early for solids. Spitting verses before you even had fur on your bollocks. <laughs> and you're I was spitting verses before you had fur on your bollocks. And you're still here gurgling nonsense. So don't bring lazy around me. I'm a workaholic. Listen, you can't rap with me. Soon as the gun fired, lap quickly, I'm that nifty. Don't like dancing, blondes acting, crack addicted. I ain't a fan of Britney's. Who the f maxed them with me? It's rapping sickly. If you fast the drum pad out and quickly, you'd have a collapsed kidney. <laughs> so slice your wrists, trying this was your final twist. Like you're a line twist mixed with a slice of bitch. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kidneys wired, tired to a drip. Sit quiet. If you want to die, I'll assist. <laughs> Think about it, motherfucker. <laughs> I remember. When you told Kinnell that he had the startled face of a man who had just been caught wanking into a jar of grapes. <laughs> Real facts. Got a jar of grapes, yeah? And I thought I was middle class. Nah, I'm just a different class, killing fast, kicking ass. You got the type of bars which I disregard. This hack is useless, like five minute craft. But what? <laughs> Like five minute crafts, but what you've been living large? Oh no, buddy. I remember back in the day you started up a GoFundMe. This is the type of thing that happens way too often. What, somebody stole your saxophone? Kind of sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been gone for two years, and dude, honest, being your comeback opponent was a uh, true honor. And if you're too worried about ring rust, dude, it's battle rap in 2023. Like, who's watching? You. <laughs> <laughs> You tosser. Let's get back to that GoFundMe because um, since then he's been focusing creatively on jazz and he's been making major stacks. So I'm sure our celebrity friend over here is going to do the right thing and pay them back. Nah, let's face the facts. I wouldn't do that either. I'd be like, these wasters. They're dumb enough to donate. They deserve to have their money taken. Face it. It'll be the ad lib in your rap Britons because when this man's spitting, it sounds like this jazz cat is scat singing. So please, don't act like a bad man, dude. What you're gonna be like, f around and find out what these jazz hands do. <laughs> We're both from Wandsworth. We both studied at Oxford. We're as posh as each other. That's facts true. After this, we're going to go get a craft IPA and swap. <laughs> After this, we're going to go get a craft IPA and swap stories about our gap years in Kathmandu. <laughs> But, but maybe not, because this guy's a bit of a prick. <laughs> He's just been gassing himself like a hazmat suit. <laughs> and you need to understand, you're getting old, buddy. You need to retire, but he ain't stopping. It's an age problem. <laughs> Trying to ride this until the wheels come off, or I could just beat the brakes off him. Jeez. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, final round people, let's keep that energy in the room, so right, final round, let's go, bro. Beat the brakes off him. He's been sipping Earl Grey too much, now his brain's popping. <laughs> Yo, he stretches like his vertebrae, his wordplay. It's got to end. Like a criminal going down in a lift, the way you condescend. <laughs> <laughs> He knows most of his raps is like a half apology. He mistakes people laughing at him for the art of comedy. He even, he even laughs at his own jokes. 
does this smarmy arsey nostril breathe. It's like someone swapped out rapping for smarmy comedy. I hate the way you flex your head like this. Press your fingers together for extra emphasis. I can't tell if he's rapping or reading a menu list. Shut up, stretch your arms long. <laughs> the floor, there's a draw breakage. You must win awards for boring cadence. Woo! Was that your performance or the autumn statement? <laughs> Check it out, my raps are better. I see my arms flap in that direction, random gesture. All my syllables are actually matched together. I am massively clever. <laughs> you just some random lanky fella whose only talent ever was managing to ruin beats, oh. rapping a cappella. <laughs> doing bars, it's enough. You go to a yardy food shop and ask for croissants. One bar, I'm passing you up. Jack of no trades, master of <laughs> Yeah, it's enough, it's enough. This elite rapping, unfathomable leagues, heat stagger to reach, arms flapping, paddle upstream like fatigue, salmon and bream. Yeah. This is me rapping with ease. That's him rapping on E, flapping like he's having a seizure. <laughs> Who asked me to breathe like does he have a disease? See what happened, capiche? It's like I'm dragging your face through the speakers. Have nobody feeling lazy, I'm a motivational speaker. <laughs> so. Jeez. You could tell from the way he writes, in Jake's mind, hip-hop was created way back in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There were some blacks before, but that's just boring. <laughs> Two white guys from a startup at a pad in Dolphin. <laughs> Except Lamb Swammer, Bad uh, Corn, yeah. and Rap was born. <laughs> You ain't had a hip hop bar in life. You ain't a rapper, you're a Tory archetype. Always reaching for metaphors to force inside. No wonder everything you've done is at an awkward height. Basio, you old Clemson, cracked and sold, lack of soul. I know you're not an actual rapper though. You thought Boom Bap was an exciting new Chibata role. But he spends literal nights training, skipping and pacing. Perfecting this new style called rhythmless white splay. Picture him! He spends nights literally training, skipping and pacing, perfecting his new style called rhythmless white splaining. Picture him, picture him in the back alleys and streets, interrupting black people speaking like, <clears throat> sorry, I did battle rap schemes. Yeah. 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 I understand what you mean. Yeah. White splainer. Yeah. Boring as A5 paper. Never met white splainer. I said, wet white, hate spice, plain rice flavor. <laughs> this is mine's layered. Personality of a dry apron. I am bright, rum, lit flames, a set light to paper. You're an overpriced IPA. Just hips the like the flavor. <laughs> no thanks, no thanks. <laughs> a seven foot stretcher and a ventilator. Yeah. He's trying to gentrify rap and sell it for extra later. Yeah. You ain't a guest in this house, you're a speculator. Uh. Oh, Soon as he starts, I can't wait for him to stop. He even paces around the stage half dazed, going, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to be, latte rock? <laughs> One minute, he's begging. Next second, he's mean yelling, trying to be a felon. One second, he's stamping and pacing. Next second, he's grinning and happy facing, fishing <laughs> for validation. Listen, this isn't because you're tall. If one minute we see you screaming in a war, next second awkwardly leaning for applause. Wow. <laughs> Either you're bipolar or not believable at all. So, in conclusion, I don't like your style of verses at all. You rap like you gargled dick with a side serving of balls. <laughs> <laughs> I want every word recorded. Curtains drawn, the world's in mourning. Hip hop dies more every time a white person applauds him. <laughs> don't, don't kill rap music. Don't kill rap music. Time! Hey, make some noise for that round. Jeez! Sweat, a kitchen's back. Alright. Let's keep that energy high, people.
couple days ago, he released a little promotional freestyle diss track, sort of thing, I don't know what it was. I had to peep it quick. And at one point he said, I freestyle better than I write. And I was like, huh, I can agree with this. <laughs> I mean, you claim you can freestyle. That might be quite true. It's not really saying much when all of your pre-written sound like they're freestyle too. <laughs> I mean, the sad thing is that he thinks rapping is what makes him special as well. It's that thing that he turns to from the ennui and the monotony before he regresses in his shell. But that doesn't distract from the fact that you're crapping, your passion and that shit is so depressing as hell. It sounds like you free speech whenever you're expressing yourself. Yeah, man. But listen, this what I'm about to say, by the way, after this, is all mathematically accurate. So just, uh... <laughs> When I was 19, I did my first battle and exhibited my wordplay. When you were 19, I had just had my first birthday. I love that. It's good. <laughs> When I was 19, I did my first battle and exhibit in my wordplay. When you were 19, I had just had my first birthday. I'm about to f this pensioner up in the worst way. So you must be a bird brain if you think that I'm not about to take his head off. This does nothing for me. Why would I want to battle some fossil from the bedrock? This, this matchup is practically an act of charity. So let's box. Guess what? You should not have tried to return right now, dickhead. Nobody gave a <laughs> the first time round. All of the bridges that you built, I'm gonna burn right down and then crumble Ooh. because he didn't cut. He didn't hold the seat down when it struggled. And you want me to be excited about this now? Are you bugging? He's taken so much time off. And you will leave it out the discussion. Oh. And you will leave it out the discussion. He was tweeting about this battle like, I'm getting back in my bag today, but I barely tried for this man, it's plain. He's been prepping his little heart out, digging deep for meaning, just for me to leave him in a shallow grave. I have to He's been digging deep for meaning, just for me to leave him in a shallow grave. I have to say, I battle more in two months than you do in two years. So I, I battle more in two months than you do in two years. So I didn't really have time to prep for you. I just had to think of my angles quick. Pick a bunch of random Take a stab in the dark, like a slasher flick. Take, in, take a stab in the dark, like a slasher flick. Picking, accepting this battle, you must be some kind of a masochist because I understand that he's scared, because he understands he's crap at this. But, <laughs> but understand that I'm scared, because I want the genuine legends coming back to battling, and I'm worried about pushing them off by how badly I'm about to batter him. <laughs> I'm scared of pushing them up by how badly I'm about to batter him. So I guess in reality, the fact is this. You're a deer in the headlights of a car being driven by an animal rights activist. <laughs> so he can rap his verses. I'm still gonna slap him in a hearse, even though you battle first. Man, that has to hurt. And I understand that you've had some success in jazz and that's absurd, but you never cut it in the battle rapping world because you're a sanctimonious little prick who never <laughs> learned to take himself less serious than his work. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh,